All right, so this is actually part two in laying out UVs on polygon objects. In the first part, I actually just showed you how to do the um, projections to get the UVs. And in this one, I'm going to show you some things you can do inside of this UV texture editor here to um, improve the layout of the UVs and relax them so that they appear more square on the surface. Anyway, so in the perspective view here, you can see I'm in shaded view. I turn on my texture view. Um, something I didn't explain last time is when you see this transparent looking, the material looks transparent, it just means there's no UVs assigned to that part of the polygon object yet. So really, it, it doesn't have anything to show the material yet because the UVs are how it shows textures. And um, shaded view is just showing the base material. All right, we're looking at a textured view though now. And um, we have quite a few seams here here, here, where the pattern is just really disrupted. And if you had a Photoshop image on there going across, you would actually see that line cutting into the your texture. And it would look really nasty. So we went over this before, and I've just mapped these sections. And you'll see how I can select a section here, go to Shell, hold down Control, right mouse button. And I, it's just that shell, that one map I did, one projection. And we have our... Um, big shells here and so and so so what we want to do is I'm gonna just gonna maybe refresh a little we want to um, just select these edges and uh, I'm gonna zoom in here so we can see what's going on a little better select the edges you want to sew together you'll notice that it's selecting the edges on the other shell that basically match I video card is capture rate is killing me here so once they're once they're all selected polygons Move and sew UV edges. We can look in the options, but really, I don't ever mess with these options. Move and sew. We just limited that seam at the bottom. Seam at the bottom, and we'll work our way up. Now, an easier way to do this, if I want to select this whole um, this whole edge without going to shift selecting every one, I can hold down Control, right ma right mouse button to edge loop. And it will select the entire loop that edge flows through. And I'll move and sew UVs. And you'll notice how they update here in this window and they even out. The idea here is to. Ah, this video capture is killing me. The idea here is to. The least amount of seams possible. Now, my, ma my shells have shifted a little. So I'm going to select these two things, and I'm just going to, because you want them um, relatively in a really good position to line up really well before you do your move and sew, so that there's the least amount of distortion when you move and sew. There's the least amount of moving going on. So what I'm going to do is just select the edge loop. See, that didn't work right. I'm going to have to manually. Manually select these edges. And we're going to sew all those. Move and sew. You just saw it update in the window. If not, we'll, um, we'll see what happens here as an example. Okay, we'll zoom in to get an idea of what's going on with that. All right, well, right now you can see where it's cutting off the squares, and it's a seam. They don't meet, so the pattern's different. You'll see what happens when I move and sew. They've all shifted into the right pattern. Now, okay. Another thing, too, is you select on your object in the perspective window. I'm going to maximize the screen. And um, go into the attributes, 
of the material that's on it and go under the tab there's the color all this go down to the bottom hardware texturing and you can go under texture resolution and it'll just really show it more crisp like you'll see when I'm low 32 so if they look kinda blurry like this and strange on your monitor just make sure they're at the highest the highest it can go is 256 I'm gonna keep it on default for right now okay um, so what the other things I was gonna talk about is is so we're trying to keep these square and uniform and in some places they are gonna kind of stretch a little whatnot and so you'll see actually over here by the edge of the chest right here in this corner they are I mean if we map the rest of this and sewed it in they'd probably even out but they're distorted right here we can fix some of the little bit of distortion like that you're gonna wanna go into the UV texture editor let's get it lined up so we can see where the distorted spot is I'm gonna select my UVs I'm gonna go into polygons unfold options I'm gonna turn them up to one the weight solver and then watch the UVs in the UV texture window they've kinda of relaxed out a little if I control Z you'll see see and on my model they've laid out more square and naturally and we should have actually um, noticed that we've actually fixed that distortion it's gone now they're perfectly almost perfectly square it's still minimal extremely minimal distortion there but for the most part by unfolding them also the other command is relax on there too that'll help smooth those out